Good evening, it's Latasha Thomas, your Worth Coach and Restoration Strategist. I am so excited to bring you tonight's moment of clarity. Tonight's topic is resisting the urge to rush. And if anybody knows me, you know that I am always on the go. I'm always doing something. I'm always taking my kids to an activity, rushing to one event, then to the next. Um, I used to fill my schedule with so many ministry activities. I could barely take a deep breath in between each one. And I actually thrived and loved it. Um, but then I got to a place where I was very tired. I was very fatigued and I felt very empty. And lo and behold, right when I said to myself, Lord, you've got to help me get through this. I don't think I can take another day of this hustle and bustle, another moment of this stress. Lord, help me get through this. Um, quite honestly, that's when the pandemic happened. And so it forced me to sort of reset. And I began to have a more comfort, uh, more comfort in the fact that I didn't have to rush from one place to the next. I didn't have a bunch of activities for my children to do. I didn't have a lot of activities or events that I needed to attend. And I didn't feel pressure to say yes to anyone. And quite honestly, it was a relief. <clears throat> it was a blessing in disguise for me. It allowed me to reset. But the problem is, when we began to open up the country again and everyone's out and about, Kids are returning to activities. Um, we are returning to activities, finding new hobbies. As you guys saw from my previous post, I've always liked to sew or thought I would like to sew. And I sewed some pants probably about 20 plus years ago. And I did a good job and I felt good about myself. And I never picked up the sewing machine again. Well, this past weekend, I went to a sewing class. And as you guys saw in the post, I definitely enjoyed myself and I was able to create something that, um, with guidance of course, but I was able to create something and I enjoyed the process of it all. <clears throat> but while I was sewing, I realized that I couldn't rush through the process, that I had to endure and take my time and guide every the, the fabric through the machine. And then I couldn't be in a rush to do that or I was more likely to take some detours, mess up my stitching, it wasn't going to be a straight line, and quite honestly, the finished product would not have been something I would like to wear. How many times in our lives do we choose to rush the process or rush from one thing to the next, skip steps, take short shortcuts, and then we are disappointed in the product? So there's no difference in our life right we need to make sure that we are not rushing the process and today um i definitely had a lot of patience on my caseload i was busy and then straight from a busy work environment to rushing um, around to get my son to practice for track and just doing different things rushing to get um, materials for tomorrow's meeting just busy and as I began to bring myself in the house I'm rushing because I'm five minutes late for my live um, you know I said you know what I don't need to rush the process because the ladies deserve content they deserve a thoughtful content and they deserve um, my best. So ladies, all I'm saying to you is I know that a lot of us have busy lifestyles and as the world is opening back up, it's very tempting to fill up your schedule with things, but be cautious what you fill it with. Um, be mindful what you're filling it with and resist the urge to rush. I hope this has been helpful tonight's moment of clarity. Again, my name is Latasha Thomas. I'm your Worth Coach and Restoration Strategist, and I hope that this has given you a little bit of encouragement to simplify your schedule and to make life a little bit better for you and for those who love you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.